Welcome to Multi-Level Mondays, a weekly series all about pyramid schemes, Ponzi schemes, multi-level marketing, and other forms of business fraud. I'm the Illuminati, and today we're going to be talking about an MLM that sells water. If it exists, there's an MLM for it, and this company is called Enagic. Now, that name might not sound familiar to you, but how about the name Kangen Water? Kangen water is an alkaline water, like the brands Essentia, Life Water, and Flow Cell. As you'd expect, unfortunately, these sellers claim that their water has a ton of health benefits, and that's how they justify selling these water alkalizers or ionizer machines. And these aren't being sold for like $29.99 or anything like that. These are being sold for thousands of dollars. Now, although this MLM isn't quite as known in the States as the company is actually based in Japan, they still have a lot to hide. Although sources and articles for this particular company were more scarce, those that do decide to really dive into this MLM, such as Anna's analysis, for example, are able to spend hours talking about the health claims, studies, and business model. Unsurprisingly, the waters around this company are actually pretty murky and questionable at best. Of course, before I get into these health claims, as always, I want to start with the company's history. So let's get into it. Enagic's website states that Sony Specialty Trading Operation, the precursor of this company, began operations in Okinawa, Japan in 1974. 14 years later in 1987, the Japanese Ministry of Health and Welfare authorized Enagic Osaka factory as a medical equipment manufacturer. And we will get into their claims about how their products are medical grade in just a bit, so just keep that one in the back of your mind for now. After another year in 1988, the company, quote, became Kangen Water Specialist with philosophy of true health, end quote. I had no idea what these things meant, so looking on another one of their About Us pages, you can find out what their corporate philosophy and true health principles are. Hovering over their stock photos of someone exercising a boat and a sunset, each one reads that physical, financial, and mental health are their three philosophies. Enagic claims that they do this through healthy drinking water and have a statement from their CEO that reads as follows. Enagic celebrates its 45th year as a specialized manufacturer of high quality water ionizer generating systems. Today, Enagic's pledge to realize a revolution in true health in the form of physical health, economic health, and mental health is supported by thousands of people around the world. The human body is comprised of 70% water. It is no exaggeration to say that the basis of vitality and long life is water. Enagic offers safe water that can be used with confidence to benefit health, beauty, sanitation, and cuisine. Enagic is an integrated development, manufacturing, sales, and service company of alkaline ionizer technology. As the revolution of information technology continues, we have entered the age of human technology marketing. Market vitality now depends upon emerging of high technology and the personal relationship between human beings. Enagic is teaming up with an international network of offices and numerous distributors around the world to spread the word water and health while building a global company with worldwide operations. Now, if that didn't tell you much about the company, then you're really not alone in that thought. It didn't really tell you much at all, to be honest. I know the name officially became Enagic in 1990 and that they created their eight point system in 1998, a complicated and direct selling system that will break down in a moment as well. Overall though, the history of Enagic water isn't really told on their website and information such as how this superior ionizer came to be is pretty much left up to the reader. Now I did find one article from Sequim Gazette that does seem to answer this question. It claims that in the 1950s, a group of Russian scientists started a research project on four of the world's miracle waters, including those at Lourdes, a pilgrimage site in France. When the Russians ran out of funding, Japanese scientists picked up the research and discovered that the water at the sites was chemically different with high levels of active hydrogen. The article continues. After discovering the secret, the Japanese began building the first machines that could mechanically create water with similar properties. Those first machines, which would fill an entire room, were sold to hospitals. 
Those living near the hospitals would bring gallon jugs to fill with the water, creating long lines in towns across Japan. Even today, kangen water is a staple in Japanese hospitals. In 1974, Hironari Oshiro, a Sony executive, decided to take up the challenge of building a machine for households. That's how Inajik began. This is the story that distributors have told the Sequim Gazette, but the actual website doesn't state this anywhere. Another article claims nearly the identical thing, although they claim that five different places were tested instead of four. This article claims that this is why the water is called Kangen, which means back to origin. And if you visit any of these places and fill up a water bottle, you'll be drinking the same quality of water as Kangen water. Once again though, it's just a few articles that state this without any genuine source, so I can't really confirm or deny it. It's possible that this is part of their company history, but it seems equally, if not more likely, that the company was simply hopping on the alkaline water bandwagon as it began to grow. So before we talk about Enojik some more, let's provide some important context. When was alkaline water created and what exactly is that? According to the Molecular Hydrogen Institute, electrolyzed reduced water is the most commonly used term in scientific literature when discussing this topic. Their site reads, ERW has an alkaline pH eight to 10 and contains molecular hydrogen. Water ionizers were invented in the early 1900s. Research on electrolyzed water started around 1931 in Japan, where it gained popularity in the 1950s. Around this time, the water was touted as having healing effects. In 1962, separate water ionizer companies, one from Nagano Prefecture and the other from Kyoto Prefecture, brought the electrolytic apparatus to the Cabinet Welfare Bureau, equivalent to the Japanese Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare, and applied to manufacture the apparatus as a medical device. Their site goes on to add that the development of these water electrolysis apparatuses continued, and as water filters were added to these machines, the marketing became common. In 1992, alkaline ionized water was referred to as wonder water and was shown being used in hospitals, leading people to believe that the water actually did help ailments such as diabetes, gastrointestinal issues, digestion, and so on. But how does it do this? Well, to put it all in simpler terms, the alkaline in alkaline water refers to its pH level. The pH level is a number that measures how acidic or alkaline a substance is on a scale of zero to 14. For example, something with a pH of one would be very acidic and something with a pH of 13 would be very alkaline. Alkaline water has a higher pH level than regular drinking water. Because of this, some advocates of alkaline water believe it can neutralize the acid in your body. Normal drinking water generally has a neutral pH of seven. Alkaline water typically has a pH of eight or nine. However, pH alone isn't enough to impact substantial alkalinity to water. Alkaline water must also contain alkaline minerals or negative oxidation reduction potential or ORP. ORP is the ability of water to act as a pro or antioxidant. The more negative the ORP value is, the more antioxidizing it is. All in all, because all these water ionizers must meet the same basic requirements to be approved by the JMHLW, which has a similar process to the American FDA, there aren't significant differences between any of these various machines in terms of design. Yet Kangen water claims to be the best among a slew of other things. Sources advocating for Kangen explain that their machines will give you strong Kangen water to drink and then the waste, the strong acidic water can be used for cleaning produce, acne, sunburn, sore throats, and even mouthwash. So again, to really boil things down here to the most basic of terms, this company sells a machine that separates the acidic water from the kangen water that you would um, want to drink. They claim the acidic water is bad for you and that the kangen water is so fantastic that it's being used in the medical field. And this is the ultra simplified version. Normally when I talk about MLMs, I'll have one specific section set aside to discuss their claims. But today, because there are so, so many claims involved, I feel the need to break it down piece by piece and go over every single claim. And this is going to include the pseudoscience Kangen uses and what the medical community actually has to say about this alkaline water. So let's get into it. We'll start with where it comes from and some of the boldest claims. And let's talk about those locations that they tested. All have waters with supposed healing properties. 
Before we see what these machines actually produce, let's look at all these sources and see if these locations are as beneficial as the companies like to claim. So as far as I can tell, yes, a lot of the water they studied does have antioxidizing properties. That much appears conclusive. One source explains that in Lourdes, France, the water is filtered through the rock and sediment surrounding it and its high mineral and alkaline nature are properties shared by other healthy springs and glacial stream waters around the world. Antioxidants are amazing, absolutely. And oxidative stress has been linked to heart disease, cancer, stroke, and a number of other things. You can find antioxidants in dairy, produce, berries, green leafy vegetables, depending on the kind you're looking for, of course. Blueberries are especially high in antioxidants. So while I have no issue with Kangen or anyone else promoting antioxidants as a whole, it's the way in which it's done that becomes alarming. For example, decades ago, back in 1931, Dr. Otto Warburg proved that there's a link between acidity and cancer. This pivotal discovery, now called the Warburg effect, helped shape the way the medical community views cancer. However, supporters of alkaline water have twisted this to mean that every single person who has cancer has a pH that is too acidic. Facebook has had to flag posts such as these for misinformation because of the way this is worded is incredibly misleading. It makes the reader believe that high acidic conditions create cancer. In actuality, Warburg's research proved that cancerous cells can help develop or produce a low oxygen and high acidic environment. That doesn't mean they were created by one. Correlation does not equal causation, and this isn't the first time, and I doubt it will be the last time that I've seen an MLM fail to understand that. Ted Gansler, a strategic director of pathology research at the American Cancer Society told PolitiFact, This does not mean that a cancer patient's entire body is acidic, only the tumor is. Also, growth and metabolism of a tumor causes low oxygen levels and an acidic environment locally. But this definitely does not mean an acidic environment or low oxygen level caused the cancer or that eating an alkaline diet or breathing air with higher levels of oxygen can effectively treat the cancer. The fact that UNC School of Medicine and the American Cancer Society have had to speak out against these claims is pretty ridiculous. If anything, it reminds me of when the American Cancer Society also asked Plexus to stop making claims about cancer, but on a much larger scale. So even if the water may be beneficial, you're probably better off just eating some blueberries and antioxidant foods, right? Well, other sources claim that Kangen isn't even remotely beneficial to begin with. One article from McGill's Office for Science and Society reads, as water molecules break down at the negative electrode to release hydrogen gas, they leave behind negative hydroxide ions. This is what makes a solution alkaline. Basically, what this means is that as electrolysis proceeds, the dilute solution of sodium hydroxide, negative ions are always paired with positive ones, is produced around the negative electrode and can be drawn off as alkaline or ionized water. But you don't need an exorbitantly expensive machine to produce a dilute sodium hydroxide solution. A couple of pellets of drain cleaner in a liter of water will do the job. So will a spoonful of baking soda. Of course, these solutions will not produce any medical miracles, but neither will the posh alkaline water. What is the benefit or point to this ionized water then? After all, Kangen distributors swear by it, and you can see the difference when looking at it changing color beside other waters and sodas as its pH is tested. So that has to mean something, right? Well, let's take a look at that next aspect, the pH levels. Anna's analysis, Cassandra Bankson, hell, even Dr. Oz, all discuss the pH and acidity levels between these waters on their YouTube channel and demonstrate the pH tests that have become somewhat a fad online. These pH tests are supposed to show the difference between the alkaline waters that you want for drinking and the acidic waters, the ones that are almost like the waste of the inject machines that you can clean for use for acne, but that are supposedly aren't meant for drinking. According to the USGS, Excessively high and low pHs can be detrimental for the use of water. High pH causes a bitter taste. Water pipes and water using appliances become encrusted with deposits. And it depresses the effectiveness of the disinfection of chlorine, thereby causing the need for additional chlorine when pH is high. Low pH water will corrode or dissolve metals and other substances. During all of these demonstrations online when pH test droplets are placed into Kangen water versus Dasani or Aquafina or even Sprite, the Kangen water comes out dark purple and with a pH of 14, as opposed to the competitors, which are always more acidic. There always seems to be some validity to Kangen water striving for a lower pH and the machines do work in lowering pH levels. 
Yet it's strange that they never compare their product to other spring waters as far as I've seen. I'm not saying that they don't do as they claim, but other ionizers have proven to be just as, if not more effective for a lower price. Kathleen Lograso, the owner of Alkaline Water Plus, a website that sells multiple different brands of ionizers, put the machine to the test against other brands and proved that it simply doesn't perform as well against other brands out there. She wrote that it did fine, but not as fine as other water ionizers. However, as a disclaimer, I do believe that Kathleen has some bias considering she sells other ionizers that aren't part of the Enogic brand and she admitted that. However, regardless if Kangen water does have a pH level of 14 or not, the actual benefits to this are yet again, pretty questionable. One source writes, what this expensive water does produce is a bevy of daft claims. Here is the most popular one. It is well known in the medical community that an overly acidic body is the root of many common diseases, such as obesity, osteoporosis, diabetes, high blood pressure, and more. Poppycock. There is no such thing as an acidic body. That though doesn't stop the hucksters from treating it. How? By neutralizing the acidity with their alkaline water. The alkaline water will restore your body to a healthy alkaline state, they say. It counteracts the acidic food you eat and the effects of the harsh elements in your environment in order to bring about the natural balance your body needs. Change your water and change your life. The only thing you'll change is your bank balance. This source, as well as many other sources, have explained that all these claims about alkaline or oxygenated water are unsubstantiated. Again, you're better off eating some blueberries and having a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables, and if Kangen water does help you, it could be just the placebo effect. Dr. Tanis Fenton, an evidence analyst for Dietitians of Canada, says that the marketing claims behind alkaline water come from the acid ash hypothesis. This posits that eating certain foods like meat, dairy, and eggs results in something called acid ash in your body, which increases your acid levels and causes adverse health effects, including osteoporosis. In 2002, an alternative medicine practitioner called Robert O. Young spun an acid ash hypothesis into a fad alkaline diet with a popular series of books called The pH Miracle. According to these books, an alkaline diet could treat all manners of woes from poor digestion to cancer, Young, by the way, was sentenced to three years in jail in 2017 for practicing medicine without a license. As a brief aside, there are fascinating articles debunking Dr. Robert Young's theories and credentials. Quackwatch has a particularly good one all about him, which illustrates how unqualified he was and further emphasizes how worrying it is how many people believe him. His alleged doctoral degrees, two of them, were acquired from credential mills. For nearly 30 years, he operated a network of enterprises that included a Mexican clinic that offered quack treatments, a company that marketed dubious drugs and dietary supplements, a research institute that did no significant research, and a non-accredited medical school that operated for about five years. In 2011, Bradford, his wife, and their company, American Biologics, doing business as CRB Incorporated, were convicted of conspiring to violate federal food and drug laws and defraud individuals seeking medical care. The indictment stated that he marketed bogus Lyme disease products and a microscope system that was falsely claimed to diagnose the disease. People will ultimately hear what they want to hear and believe what they want to believe. The idea that drinking a specific kind of water will cure you of all ailments is interesting and fascinating, sure. Plus, when you sprinkle in the truth about how important water is, it can seem almost believable. In actuality, Robert Young was a quack, which makes it all the more appropriate for Quack Watch to call him out. Anyway, sorry for the momentary detour there, but let's get back to Dr. Fenton from The Guardian. While people have been touting the benefits of upping your alkaline levels for decades, Fenton says the belief is not supported by any scientific evidence. Fenton, who analyzes studies looking at the association of alkaline water with cancer treatment, notes that while there are a very few poorly designed studies that suggest alkaline water confers health benefits, there is no rigorous evidence this is the case. What's more, Fenton stresses, you simply can't change the pH of your body by drinking alkaline water. Your body regulates its blood pH in a very narrow range because all our enzymes are designed to work at pH 7.4. If our pH varied too much, we wouldn't survive. So where does this leave us? Well, with a whole lot of nothing, to be honest. The antioxidant claims and pH claims seem unsubstantiated and cancer claims and health claims seem largely based on twisting Warburg's words. 
And the medical community at large doesn't really support this idea of alkaline or kangen water having any massive, clearly defined benefit. Don't get me wrong, some studies have shown results in favor of the alkaline water by minor margins, but many seem to support the narrative that there's still no conclusive answer. If drinking alkaline water is more beneficial, it's by a negligible amount. If that is the case, then why has it been approved as a medical device? Why is it used in hospitals? Well, that's just one of the many false claims that Enojek has made about their product. And after we take a moment to thank today's sponsors for this episode, we're going to dive right into those false claims. For me, the end of summer means wearing shorts and skirts as much as possible while I still can, even if I'm not going outside. And that means shaving my legs more. And luckily there's no better razor than Athena Club razors. Not only do they make it easier to shave, but they moisturize my skin and leave it bump free and dolphin smooth. And you know exactly how important dolphin legs are to me. Athena Club razors have these built-in skin guards that prevent razor burn. Plus the blade itself is surrounded by a water activated serum that has shea butter and hyaluronic acid that leaves your skin super, super smooth. And these razors come in so many cute colors. I have the baby blue one and it's my favorite. I wouldn't trade it for the whole world. Although the other colors, very nice as well. And if you've been burned by expensive razor kits in the past, you'll appreciate this. Athena Club's razor is only $9. It's got your choice of a handle color, two blade heads and a magnetic storage hook to keep it out of the way in your shower. So show your skin you care with Athena Club razor kit. Sign up today and you'll get 20% off your first order. Just go to athenaclub.com and use promo code code MLM. That's athenaclub.com with promo code MLM for 20% off. This episode is also sponsored by Magic Spoon. Now I loved cereal as a kid, but I gave it up as an adult because it's full of gross shit that I really just should not eat, like a ton of added sugars for no real reason whatsoever. But that's what's awesome about Magic Spoon cereals. I can have a great tasting cereal when I want and without the crap. Magic Spoon has ridiculously good flavors that'll take you back to watching Saturday morning cartoons. They've got classics like cocoa, frosted, peanut butter, and my favorite, fruity. Magic Spoon has zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams grams of carbs in each serving. It's also only 140 calories. So if you wanna get started today, make sure to click the link below and use my code Mondays for $5 off. You can build your very own variety box from their many awesome flavors. And if you don't like it, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click the link below and use the code Mondays for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash Mondays to save $5 off your order today. Also for my Canadian fans, Magic Spoon is now shipping to Canada too. Aside from all the health claims about alkaline water in general, there's the idea that Kangen water started as a medical device being spread by the company and their distributors. And this is unfortunately only a half truth. The Molecular Hydrogen Institute explains that any device that can make water with a pH of 8.5 or higher must obtain JMHLW approval. As I said earlier, it's similar to the FDA when they require performance tests of dental floss, examination gloves, and wheelchairs. Every single ionizer in Japan could make the same claim. There's nothing special about this company's devices or Kangen water. Seriously, this is the equivalent of Oral-B dental floss in the United States saying they're certified as a medical device. They're not technically wrong as they've had to undergo further testing, but it sounds far more impressive than it actually is. Despite this, distributors continue to make this claim and spread this falsehood all in the name of giving themselves an air of legitimacy. But as the Molecular Hydrogen Institute states, the fact that these units have been classified as medical devices do not offer any evidence for their potential to treat and or prevent disease. It has also been claimed that the majority of hospitals in Japan use and prescribe ionized water to their patients, but this is also not true. Many medical doctors in Japan have never seen or even heard of a water ionizer being used for hospital patients. There was an early Japanese advertisement that made it appear that this was the case, but it is not. This is only one of the numerous false claims that have come out of Inajik over the years. I really recommend a well-sourced WordPress blog called Kangen Facts if you want a breakdown on every single one of them, as I'm covering a bit more of an overview, but it's safe to say that many of them revolve around health claims. In fact, this got so bad that Inajek had to release a statement asking their distributors to stop spreading the lie that the acidic water from their machines could fight COVID. Aside from this, if this wasn't bad enough, there's also the issue where distributors will claim that Kangen water is better than any other brand of ionized water out there. And again, this simply isn't true. 
Other blogs and sources about ionizers claim that other products have more platinum on their machines than Enagic does, so there's really no justification for their high cost. I know I haven't touched on the cost yet, but the cheapest Enagic brand ionizer is almost $3,000. And the most expensive is around $6,000. So that's a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables that you're just better off eating. So why does this machine cost so much more? If I had to speculate, I'd say once again, it's because they're an MLM. We've seen it before time and time again that MLMs have bloated inflated prices in order to accommodate their distributors. Not to mention many, if not most purchases made by the company are completed by distributors themselves as opposed to the average consumer. So if someone is convinced that this is a fantastic business opportunity and it's really the best water on the planet, then they can absolutely sell their distributors on a $5,000 model. That's purely my own speculation though, as it's what I've seen with other MLMs we've covered before. On yet another note of false claims though, this isn't exclusive to Enagec. Many alkaline waters advocate the use of Hunza people, those that live in Hunza Valley as an example to prove that this water extends your life. Some blogs claim that the Hunza people are free from disease and can live to be between 120 to 140 years old. All of this is apparently because of the minerals in their water. Some say it's magic water, that it's because of the massive amounts of hydrogen, and some sources even claim it's because lightning has struck the water. This is plain and simple, a massive lie told by the alkaline water community. In fact, disease plagues the Hunza community and the life expectancy is in the early 50s. The fact that the Hunza people are largely illiterate, overestimate their age by a few decades and don't really keep track of death records. According to one 1996 article from the New York Times, the mountain air did seem pristine, but the people spent most of their time inside mud huts, breathing horribly polluted air from open fires. They suffered from bronchitis and a host of ailments like tuberculosis, dysentery, malaria, tetanus, and cancer. An iodine deficiency in their diet caused mental retardation. Children went hungry in the spring as food stores dwindled. The life expectancy for people in the isolated traditional villages, according to a 1986 medical study, was only 53 years old for men and 52 for women. The healthiest people were the ones living in more modern villages near a new road to the outside world. There, trucks were bringing in food, vaccines, antibiotics, iodized salt, and stoves with vented chimneys. Nearest this road, life expectancy was rising, a trend that would have delighted the designers of General Motors Futurama. There are a ton of myths about the Hunza people, and this is simply another one of them. Now, given all these false claims, this is where I start to disagree with other sources just a touch. Some may state they don't believe Kangen water is a scam because it's solely the distributors making these claims. To some extent, I understand that line of thinking. The company can't control every single one of their distributors. No company can. But without even discussing their pyramid scheme lookalike type business model, I believe this company might be kind of scammy. Clearly, they were responsible enough to tell their sellers to not make these COVID claims. And yet these health claims about alkaline water are rampant. Distributors and the company perpetuate the idea that alkaline water is something you need when they have no studies to back it up. Studies have been done on ionized water, sure, with varied and minimal results, yet no studies have even been done on Konkin water whatsoever. Promoting alkaline water as anything other than water hurts people. It hurts because these medical claims give people false hope or may discourage those that need medical treatment from getting any. And this, of course, hurts those that genuinely believe that this is a business opportunity. Now, when it comes to the MLM model, there eight point commission structure is very confusing to say the least, from my perspective at least. Typically, when I see a business model this complicated, it's a bad sign, but I'll try to give Enagic the benefit of the doubt as we take a look. To start with, the company says there are six ranks, 1A to 6A, and all ranks have eight points to pay. The website reads, In order for you to advance in rank, you and or your team need to accumulate a specific number of sales. A distributor can advance directly from 1A, must have two direct sales to any other rank when the accumulated sales volume meets the stated requirements. For example, you are 1A with two direct sales. You become 2A when you sell a third unit, or you can jump directly to 6A from a personal sale if the total amount of units sold in your team is at least 100. The chart below will give you an idea on how you can rise in rank on the sale of K8 units alone. 
The chart that they're referencing shows the 1A rank has to make one to two sales, the 2A rank has to make three to 10, the 3A rank has to make 11 to 20, and so on and so forth. However, because this is an MLM and not just a traditional company with salespeople, indirect sales also count towards ranking up. You can become 2A if once you become 1A, the people that you have signed up beneath you also make sales or sign up people beneath them. Enagic and those that support them say this is a great business model for a number of reasons. One being that there's no signup fee, no stocking of inventory, no annual renewal, no time limits, and they pay daily. I will see that although I've seen distributors brag about how quickly they've gotten paid before, the other benefits are genuinely bonuses when compared to other MLMs. That said, they're pretty standard for other traditional business models. Most jobs don't make you stock up on their product. It's just a quality that many MLMs tend to have. That said, the fact that there's a bunch of blogs and videos simply breaking down their business model is again, quite telling. Not to mention, even though this article says there's no startup cost, the fact that you need to own your own machine to get started sure sounds like a type of startup cost to me. And again, these machines are going for like three to $6,000, so that's not a small amount of money. In their own advertisements, they claim to not be an MLM, and yet one of their certifications is from DSA or Direct Selling Association. So which is it? Although I've discussed the DSA here before, just as a brief refresher for those of you that may not know, the Direct Selling Association's job is essentially to protect MLMs and they lobby to pass anti-consumer protection amendments. All of this is extremely well-documented and there will be many links again if you wanna look at that as well. The DSA has given VEMA a now defunct energy drink MLM an award, even though they were shut down for being a pyramid scheme. DSA member companies such as Enagic frequently make health claims that violate the law and DSA doesn't do anything to stop them. All in all, it's the health claims that bother me the most. The MLMers that are shown making false or at least unproven financial claims, preying upon unemployed or desperate people and the confusing business model are pretty typical here, unfortunately. Claims that your brain cancer will be evaporated or the idea that you'll live longer because of molecules micro clustering in Kangen water is just unproven and according to a biochemist, laughable. They've also had some billing and return issues according to BBB and several customers have reported them as a fraud. So there's that too, but it's mostly these health claims that make me feel uneasy when it comes to this company. Funny how the company that was so quick to tell their distributors off for making claims about COVID, but they also seem perfectly content to turn a blind eye to some of these claims about alkaline water as a whole. But with that being said, that's where I'm going to end today's episode of Multi-Level Mondays. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure that you're liking, following, and subscribing so that you can stay up to date on all the latest episodes. Thank you so much for making it to another one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 